Hi, I'm Jay Mark Habibi with CNET, and you are probably looking for a new RSS reader right about now. In this how-to, I'm going to show you how to get started with one of the most popular Google Reader alternatives out there, Feedly. First things first, in order to access Feedly, you'll need to head over to Feedly.com to pick up a browser extension. It's available on Chrome, Firefox, and Safari, and there are apps available for Android and iOS. Next, simply log in with your Google account. Nice thing is, if you're already a Google Reader user, then Feedly will automatically sync all of your subscriptions. And worry not, because when Google Reader officially bites the dust, all of your subscriptions will remain, according to the folks at Feedly. Once you're logged in, I recommend first expanding your browser window. Otherwise, Feedly's navigation will stay hidden in this little hover menu, which can get annoying if you like to quickly jump between news sources like I do. Now to start adding subscriptions. From the explore bar on the right, you can search for specific sites you want to subscribe to or browse through Feedly's curated list of recommendations. From the list, you can subscribe to sites individually or to entire categories at once, which is really convenient. There's also this nifty starter kit for those who need it. To start reading, you could use the Today tab, which mashes up some of the latest posts across all of your subscriptions. But I prefer sifting through content by category, source by source. The thing about Feedly is that it's a lot more visual than Google Reader, almost like an online magazine, and some people may not like that. If that's you, then you can easily change the layout to your liking. When you click a post, it expands inline. Share tools are here up top, and this bookmark is just like the star in Google Reader. You can also save items to Pocket or Instapaper. And for the power users out there who love Google Reader's shortcut keys, Feedly has a set of its own. Just like in Google Reader, you can type a question mark to bring up the list. Finally, be sure to check out Feedly's different themes, as well as the big preferences screen if you're looking for a more customized experience. So that's Feedly. For Google Reader users, it might take a little getting used to, but hey, it looks great, it's got a lot of features, and it'll get the job done. For more tips and tricks, head over to howto.cnet.com. I'm Jay Mark Thanks for watching.